guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for watching so today I actually have a Costco haul for you guys and I will also show you what I have in leftover in our fridge and pantry just to kind of give you an idea of why we bought what we bought we were thinking of going to Trader Joe's again but we actually needed like dog food and cat food and so we just decided let's just go to Costco and of course what happens is you get other things too but anyway for the most part we have still a good amount of stuff in our pantry so pretty much most things we got are for like the refrigerator we got a few other things too that we didn't really need but I'll explain as we go <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this haul. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and I hope you guys have a great, great day. Of course, everything will be vegan as well. Sometimes I forget to say that because it just kind of goes without saying now for us, but I understand if you're new, you may not know that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will put the prices with everything. And in case you did not see our vlog yesterday, look sweet little baby this is a newest addition to the family and we did buy some celery today and he's already enjoying he's he's into that <laughs> all right so I know a lot of you loved seeing like what's in the pantry left and it also just of course gives ideas because of course everything is vegan friendly in here and I promised you guys I would do it this time so here we go and I'll just go through it quickly we have one bagel left one lone bagel some vanilla, some agave nectar, and then with that we also have this bee free honey, and some PB2 chocolate, the like powdered peanut butter, some dates, um, some of this PB Fit peanut butter powder, some oats, we've got steel cut oats and then just quick one minute oats, and then in here we just have like some of these little soup crackers, some Laura bars, some packets of oatmeal, and then this one up here is pretty much all of our toppings. And we got a decent amount right now. I still need to get hemp hearts. That was another thing that I wanted to get at Trader Joe's, but we didn't go. Anyway, no big deal. But got some banana chips, some flax seeds, some raisins, chia seeds, cashews are back there, uh, sesame sticks, some peanut butter granola, some pecans, some coconut, some more granola, uh, some musel, some of this little blend that's actually from Costco too. Um, it's like seeds, cran cran dried cranberries and pumpkin seeds um, in kind of like a tamari flavor. It's really good. And some coconut, some chocolate chips, got some of the pumpkin spice coffee, some popcorn, bisquick, and then in here is just like snacks for my kiddo of like those Z bars, um, and then like those uh, little veggie straw sticks. Like we just put them up in there and grab them for his lunch. Pretty much up here is all of our like like leftover spices or vinegars, oils, that kind of thing, or like overstock of stuff. <laughs> so we have some dressing some salsa, this is actually some pink Himalayan salt, some breadcrumbs, some rice paper wraps, uh, some french fried onions, sorry it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to reach up here but it's basically what that is, is like overstock stuff. And then this middle one here is all of our pastas and rices primarily. We have a few things of fettuccine, some vermicelli, some leftover, um, it's not like a full box of lasagna noodles, gnocchi, some ready to go rice, and we also have these also like ready to go uh, rices where you just heat them up for like 90 seconds in the microwave. Got some other rices in here, some quinoa, lentils, more rice, more rice, and then back there too is some pad thai noodles. We have down here a big thing of coconut oil. We are actually finally almost out of that thing. We got that from Costco a long time ago. I actually will even take some of it out of here and put it into like a little like snapware container, which I actually have like all in here now. And I'll put it up in our, my bathroom and just like scoop out a good size amount and use it as like a makeup remover. Totally works. <laughs> um, so I got some onions, some more onions. Um, a couple potatoes and then this thing of potato still we haven't gotten to. Some sun-dried tomatoes and then all of our canned foods, just chilies, black beans, tomato sauce, uh, garbanzo beans, that kind of thing. All right, and the fridge is pretty slim right now. <laughs> um, we have some dressings too, like I said, the ones that are already open, some maple syrup. You know what I noticed, guys? There is a thing of mayonnaise in here. 
and I was literally going through this yesterday and I don't know how this got here. Like I don't, <laughs> we didn't buy this and it's open and like has a little scoop taken out. I'm thinking like maybe my parents brought it over one day. I have no idea guys. <laughs> I didn't even know it was in here and that's not technically vegan like the regular mayo. I have no idea. <laughs> and we still have a little bit left in here and then a full one here of almond milk, um, some vegetable broth. I just put it in here, but it's actually has not been opened. I have a little bit left of this vanilla chai tea. It's delish. And some of this earth balance butter. This is the big tub. And I got this at Whole Foods and it's the only place I've been able to find this brand um, in this size is Whole Foods. And then some salsa still from uh, Trader Joe's. And then this like salsa verde one, uh, some hummus still, a little bit of strawberries, some apple butter, some raspberry preserves, tahini, maca, flaxseed powder, and some cashew butter and peanut butter, some barbecue sauce, I have a little bit of wine, and some tofu. There's some applesauce back there. I have a little bit of bottled waters from our kiddos' lunches, Nate's beer, <laughs> and we have some lettuce still, some carrots, some zucchini. In here we have a little bit of um, tortillas, that tempeh still, the vegan mozzarella shreds. Um, this is still uh, a little bit left over the chow cheese, good stuff, and an apple. And then again, a little bit more zucchini and some spinach left. So in our freezer, I usually just don't show it much, but really we have like a ton of frozen fruit, which is like up here, and some popsicles, and then pretty much just kind of like some mock meats left um, and frozen veggies in the freezer. So for what we got for Costco, starting with the lettuce here, we got some romaine hearts, and you just can't really beat the lettuce at Costco. You really can't. I think Trader Joe's has a pretty decent price on lettuce but hands down Costco's the best so if you are there it's worth it to pick it up <laughs> at least in my opinion so got some romaine hearts it is organic and you get six of them we picked up these avocados and you get six of these as well and these I felt like went up a little bit in price but still in comparison to buying them individually still a pretty good deal for them and then we also picked up this organic edamame. We really like this and it's very cheap. And we actually just don't even cook it or anything. It's like you can eat it like this or you can like heat it through. We like it just as a snack. It's really, really good. And we've never tried this before. It's Inno Foods uh, Coconut Clusters. And then on the back here, let me show you with, with organic super seeds. And it even shows right there, vegan friendly, gluten free. Yeah, basically with pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds. But Nate saw these and he wanted to try them out. So pick those up, we'll have to give it a, a whirl. We did get some, you guys know, when you watch my hauls week to week, soda is something that like years ago we used to buy like a ton of. And we really have gotten away from it where we like order it when we go out, it's more of a treat. And this will lead me to something else I'm gonna show you guys that we found, but you know, we just kind of were feeling it and Nate's off this week. And I was like, let's splurge and get our diet Dr. Pepper. We love it. <laughs> so we did get that. And it's not to say of course that like sodas are vegan, um, I, I mean, at least most of them are, but you know, of course we all know that they're not really good for us. But again, this is something that we have cut way back with. <laughs> And I also found these roasted garlic and black bean tortilla chips. I've never tried these before, but they look really, really yummy. And so I'm gonna try those out. And they are vegan friendly, of course, as well. Anything garlic though, and I'm about it. And I love beans, so I figure this is gonna be my thing. Got some more plums. We love plums. Plums are so good, guys. It's like truly candy. We love them. So got some plums and we did pick up some paper plates. We like to just have these on hand um, just for those quick little snacks, especially for our kiddo. But you know, we don't buy these all the time and it's okay if we do run out, but it is kind of convenient. I can't lie. So we did get those, you get 186. And we also picked up some more olives. We always buy the sliced ones from Trader Joe's if we're there, but you get eight cans here. They are pitted, but they are not sliced. That's okay. So anyway, though, we picked those up. We needed olives. Got some more strawberries. It's kind of a given. We love our strawberries. So yummy. And, and this is such a better deal, guys. I found these honey crisp apples, and not to say that they're super cheap, but they were 
far better of a deal than what last week was. Last week we did Walmart and believe it or not, like three or four apples cost me like six bucks. It was insane. And so this was a much better deal and I love my Honeycrisp apples and they did have them. So, cause that's the other thing here where we are, they're hard to find. So I was happy to find those. We just picked up this big bag of rolls just to have for our kiddos lunch throughout the week or just if we want just really quickly like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a roll, it's delish. <laughs> so got those. And then I just saw that they, ha everyone has to get that one purchase that you don't really need, but it happens, you know. So <laughs> they're these Jane and Bleak Blecker, Bleaker uh, slipper socks. And so they're kind of, they got like bottoms to it so you don't slip. And they're really cute and they have these little balls on the back and they're pretty big. So I think they're gonna be like kind of a slipper sock slash like leg warmer and I just wanted them. <laughs> and then I also picked up another thing of almond milk. We just love this stuff, it's so good. Uh, the organic unsweetened almond beverage from Costco, Kirkland brand, delicious, vanilla flavored, but it is still unsweetened, delish, we love it. And here's where, <laughs> I promise guys, we really don't drink that often. We really don't. And we have not bought like Captain Morgan rum in probably, gosh, like I would say like 10 months, maybe a year. Seriously, we haven't. Um, they are vegan because sometimes alcohol, depending on how it's filtered, can actually not be. And this one is, at least according to what I see online. But <laughs> this is a lot. This is quite a bit. It's, yeah. But they had this on sale for like a price that you could like seriously not beat. They were $12.99 if you bought two. Um, $12.99 each if you bought two. And I was like, well, you know, and anyway, that goes with the Dr. Pepper. That was our thought. Again, Nate's off this week and... We just thought we could have an, an enjoyed beverage <laughs> anyway. But yeah, this will last us seriously. Like it might go bad before we like go through it. <laughs> but anyway, that was on sale. That was like, oh, we got to do it. <laughs> and we got some baby carrots. And again, goes for the bunny and us now. We have the bunny, the pig uh, that eat a lot of fruits and veggies too. So we have to have all this stuff on hand. <laughs> uh, I didn't show you guys. I do still have this left over here. These are pretty, getting pretty ripe. They're like perfect to eat right now. But if we don't get through them, we will... Uh, freeze them. So anyway, got one more of those. Got a big old bag of broccoli. I love broccoli. It's so good. And then this, <laughs> I already opened it for the, for the bunny, um, this thing of celery as well. Now guys, this was a new find and I'm so happy that I found it because I have to admit their soups, they're like Kirkland brand, um, broccoli cheddar soup they have like a clam chowder soup i used to love their soups if you're not vegan they are delicious they really are but they're not vegan right and so i always kind of a bummer i always look like maybe they'll have one and they never do that might be vegan friendly well i just saw today they have this one here and it actually looks really really good so I picked this up and it is vegetarian. It's, it is vegan though too. Um, I, I double checked to make sure, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I think this could be even good um, over a baked potato even, just as like kind of a, a sauce even. I don't know, I was really happy to, to find this. So we'll have to let you know what we think of it too. I've never had it before, but chopped vegetable and barley soup, good stuff. So, oh, and we also got, um, it's just out in the garage right now, I apologize, but we got a huge, huge bag of pedigree dog food and a thing of cat food as well. I'll put the prices of them. And I think that was everything. But I will put the total here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great, great day. Again, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys very, very soon.